Oh man, I'm telling you what, man. Let's go, let's go. All right. So check this out, folks. Got this guy named Ron. Talks about the S&P, talks about the VIX, talks about all these stocks that are supposed to be crashing. And he's been talking about it for two weeks, man. Let me tell you, two weeks. Let me show you what two weeks of talking about uh, something that's just so crazy. Like, you know, and and it's just so funny that you say, you know, inside the videos, you say that uh, the crash begins likely within two weeks. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. All right. Well, let's let's go back two weeks, bro. Um. Wow. Uh. Here, let's get on the daily. Oof. Gosh, man. Uh. You know that's only only five hundred points right there. Um. Yeah. It's only five hundred points. Maybe four hundred. Yeah, I would say the market's crashing probably right around, uh, but that's July, you know. That's like last year, dude. The market crashed last year, Ron. What, oh, oh my gosh, here we are, uh, what, what's this, November? Oh my gosh. Oh man, hey, looky here, man, we're like, uh. Above our, our normal highs, uh, that you know, or we're above last year's high. Um, but the market's gonna crash, right? Right? Okay. Yeah, we got you had some consolidation here, but uh, yeah. I mean, here's some better technical analysis for some of you folks. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you guys something. Uh, you know, you got this bull flag right there, and I know that's kind of hard to see, and uh, I've only got a limited time, so, you know, but uh, anyways, it doesn't matter how you draw that bull flag, and uh, I'm going to show you guys, uh, this is MetaTrader Ford, I'm, you know, some of you uh, crackpots are going to sit there and say, Oh, I got my algo. I got my ninja trader. Oh, cha 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 cha. Whatever. Whatever platform you. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> so here's last year's high, right? Right? Well, you draw a little box like that. Oh my God! Look what happened almost a year later, or uh, you know, later in the uh, later in the year. So this was uh, July. Oh my gosh! Here we are, November, December. Huh? Well, there's some resistance, isn't there? Huh? Oh shit! Huh? Oh wow! Oh crap! <laughs> it broke above it. Huh. You think that there would be a crash right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is on a daily chart, folks. I mean, look at look at that. I know that's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see, but uh, let me let me spoof it up for you a little bit. Okay. Look at there. So I drove that box right there. Wow. Two two three days in a row. It it stayed above. That's that that was like forty forty points right there. Oh my gosh, folks! Man, let's go down to an hour. Oh, gosh, man, look at that. Oh, there's another bull flag. Oh wow, well, man. What 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 would happen if we just uh, drew another rectangle right here? Let's draw it from right here. Screw your little Fibonacci's, you Cravenacci's. I mean, 
it, let's just say you did it right here. You you drew your box right here, and and while well, it consolidated, I mean, no big deal. I mean, here here's your bull flag, your miniature bull flag. Here here's another bull flag. Uh, I mean, here's a little reset. We knew that was coming. It's not going to continue to go up like that. So, uh, well, I would have told you to go ahead and buy your dips. I mean, because cause literally you can take this and after this, uh, you can get the top part of the flag, right? So get the top part of the flag, right? Once it comes back up, I mean, you just that, that's a that's forty points right there. Forty points on the S and P. Got it. I mean, it's not you know not really a huge lot, but as long as it didn't come back below this mark, you'd be set to go. Uh, so you could have stayed in it the whole entire time. And look, well, here's what a thousand dollars looks like when you lose it. Uh, lose it because you listen to Ron, and Ron says, "Oh, the stock market's gonna crash. The market's gonna crash. Error. We got checker, checker, checker. Okay, the market's gonna crash. Yeah, yeah. Okay. None of you stock market motherfuckers know what a goddamn thing is about a goddamn crash. Shut up. Shut." up you don't know nothing about a crash oh it's a pump and dump the rug's gonna get pulled okay oh, well 82 points really y'all you you gonna cry over 80 point drop Maybe 85? <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud. Man. You guys got some serious issues. He's going to sit there and call call out an 84 uh, point drop, a crash. That's not a crash, dude. Anything over 100 is a crash. But and let's get real. I mean, if it's going to crash, it's going to continue to crash. So you can't sit there and call it a crash. I'm just saying. Something's not logical there. So, yeah, pre appreciate you helping me lose, you know, a thousand bucks. Ron, that, that's uh, very much appreciated. Uh, lot, lots of respect, you know. I think you should uh, reevaluate your uh, signals, there, buddy. You're gonna if you're gonna talk about it for two weeks in a row. You know, Mike Schultz or Mike Mike the Dumaflachi there on the other channel. Hey, I, I never once said he, you know heard that he was saying oh stock market's gonna crash tomorrow you know i mean of course he does title it as the crash you know the crash the crash the crash but i mean that's all clickbait and he never goes into detail about how this happened in such and such time, and this happened, and all that other good stuff. So, I mean, there's two people on here that I pay attention to that now I'm unsubscribed to because they both sit there and said the market was going to crash, and this has never happened in such many years, or whatever. So, you know, you guys got the economy going, right? Yep, you're you're the ones that are making all the big bucks. Because you're telling us that it's going short, and every the stock market's going to crash, and here I am trying to sell it, and it's uh, going the opposite way. Yeah, you did a good job there, Ron. You tricked everybody, and you got took everybody's money. 
Good job, dude. Good job. Good job.